I'm Abby, I'm Top Net Stitcher. I'm coming to you today from the Top Net Stitcher Shop studio because this is currently the best place in my house for good lighting at the moment. The sun is going down, it is 5.30 p.m. and it is pre-daylight savings and it's already feeling like the depths of winter are upon us and that is a bummer. Um, but hopefully we can cover all this before it gets too dark and also hopefully I don't get too glary. Let's get into it. We're going to talk about cross stitch. We're going to talk about, um, are we going to talk? We're not really going to talk about Black Lives Matter or anything uh, in great detail today, but um, if that's not something you're down with, sorry, this maybe isn't for you. Jam is here. Um, hopefully, he puts in a really cute nap appearance right there for us. He's, this shelf has been covered with a box, so he's into whatever smell was left behind by the box apparently. Oh, he's so cute. Nicole, this is just for you. Anyway, um, we're gonna talk about stitching. I Welcome, have I said that? Welcome, if you're new, welcome back. No, nope. if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Super happy to have you here. We're in the studio today, so Michelle, lots of interesting things to entertain you. Um, and sorry, I was just trying to think. I <laughs> I talked to Mitchie the other day, but I wasn't sitting in this room. So I was like, has she seen this face recently? No. So Mitchie, here's some exciting things for you to look at, including Jam's butt. Um, we're gonna talk a little bit about what I've been stitching. There's some stuff that I can't share. Um, and there's, yeah, there's, no, I guess there's really only one project that I can share. Sorry. Um, I keep having this experience where I feel like I've stitched a lot more in this last month, but then I look at what I've done and it's like nothing. Um, and that happens and that's fine. That's how, that's how it goes. I think I'm just stitching much more, much slower than normal because I'm, oh, look how cute he is. My attention span is just so limited right now. And so even though I might be like sitting, watching TV and hanging out and stitching for a couple hours, I'm doing a fraction of the amount of stitching that I maybe would have otherwise done in a two hour span. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So all of that to say, I only have one project to show you, but I do have a new Top Knot Stitcher design release that I, I mean, it's not that new. I released it at the beginning of October. Um, and I am going to show you, I'm going to, I'm trying to actually narrow down. I charted it and I had picked out the fabric I liked for it. And then I realized I had a similar fabric in my stash and maybe I wanted to use that instead. So maybe we'll decide between the two on this, uh, on this little chat. Um, but I'm going to start it hopefully this week, but also I have, who knows, who knows what's going to happen, but I want to show you, show you. Um, I have some haul, I have some like shop favorites that I wanted to show off because since I can't like physically stitch all of the things, I want to at least show you all of the things that I wish I could stitch. <laughs> so I'm going to show you. Um, and then we are going to, I don't know, we'll see what else happens. I've got I've got a good amount of stuff. I do want to announce I did a giveaway for this Happy Halloween Spooky Night to All Primitive Hair Chart. I know you can't really see it. I have added some autumnal picks to it. It, norm it sits out in my living room. I just moved it in here. If you missed it, I announced the winner on Instagram. I posted um, a little video to my Instagram stories and I drew Rocio as the winner of Cocohama Stitchery, and so she will be getting the chart and finishing materials and floss um, very soon, which I am super excited about because she just she and her husband just moved back from the Bahamas, and now they are in Texas. And so I just love that it gets to be like a little, like autumnal welcome home gift. Um, so yeah, thank you all so much for entering and, um, I appreciate you commenting and entering and, uh, watching and hanging out with me. I still like squeal with glee every time I see a new comment. So thank you so much. They mean so much to anyone who puts time into making videos and yet I am also like 
I leave one comment for every 10 videos that I watch because it just it gets, just gets away from you. So I, all that I just want to thank you so much for leaving them, even if you just like leave a cat smiley face, a cat emoji. That's fine with me. That would that would just mean oh, I would just feel so warm and fuzzy. Anyway, let's talk stitching because we are going to lose our light soon and I don't want to, uh, you know, take too long. I realized today the two project bags that I am highlighting are both from Cassandra Martinez, The Pineapple House. I'm not sure if she has a shop launched yet. I think she's planning to do so soon, um, but right now she's just selling her bags on her Instagram. Um, and I'm not sure if she actually has any listed right now, but I showed this one a ways back and this is a newer one, which I may have had last video. I don't know, but look how pretty it is. I love that it's the gray background. That's me, the sparkles, the cute little pumpkins and like it's spooky, but it's cute spooky. And that's my Halloween style. Um, and so this is the new release that is kitted out, but we'll come back to that one. Um, and then this one, I love any project bag that's mostly black because sometimes even though all the cute patterns and fabrics and things, they're really fun. I just, sometimes they're too fun and I can't handle it. And so I need something nice and classy, you know? Um, so most of my stitching this month was on, why am I not just taking this out? Get it together. Um, to, it was on this wild violet cross stitch piece together against racism. Um, I am close to being done with this, sort of. Um, I have almost all the border done. I just have to fill in like two more flowers and a little bit more leaves. This is like, this is the bottom of the piece. So it's like flower, flower, stem. And then I'm just filling in the rest of the words. And there's a little bit of like confetti, dupities. But since this is a dark fabric, I'm just going to carry my thread every which way and not care about it at all. Um, I want, I want jam to be in frame. Okay. Um, so I told Ryan, <laughs> the designer, a few days ago, it's Sunday. I told her on Friday that I would have this piece, the border done Sunday night. So it is now Sunday night. And, um, luckily my chores are, I think done for the weekend. I probably need to like do a few dishes. That's it. Uh, and then I am just stitching. Um, and then I plan to save the inside text because it's such a good like fill in project when I'm on, if I'm on a Zoom call that I have to be on but don't really have to be on or whatever. Um, also, I've recently started playing Dungeons and Dragons and uh, that game can take a while and there's a lot of like, like once you're in combat, like you're just waiting around a lot and you have to like pay attention, but it's kind of boring if you're not like, like often I'm just home alone and we're doing it on Zoom, well, Discord, cause we're like true gamers. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's fun. My character is a moon witch. Um, she's actually an elf cleric. I'm an elf cleric, if that means anything to you. That wasn't the point of this at all. The point was I will be filling this in while on video calls um, and hopefully be able to get it done pretty soon. I'm excited to be to a point where I can just like have that, that color out and then just like whenever I feel like it, I can just put in a length of thread. If I just put in a length of thread a day, it'll be done before you know it. Anyway, I love this piece. You can get it from Ryan's website. There's a companion piece um, with like this, I think it's a slightly different border, but same idea and the same font that says Black Lives Matter. I'm into it. This needle minder, Love is Greater Than Hate, is from Space Cat Crafting on Etsy. This Hamza hand is from me, Top Knot Stitcher shop, topknotstitcher.com. Um, and I am doing this wild violet pattern with a Victorian motto thread conversion. And I am loving how it's turning out. Ryan's color palettes just, they're just always, they're just spot on. So hopefully next time we talk, this will be done and that will be super exciting. This bag is covered in cat hair. 
I don't know. You can, yes, you can see. Covered in cat hair. I mean, I am sitting on his chair, so I am also probably covered in cat hair now. But whatever. I love him, I guess. He's so cute. That's one of his favorite spots right now, um, is either right there or on top of the box that was there. If he's not like with me and he's right there or he's in this chair. He's so cute. Okay, um, next up, let's talk about this new release. I'm gonna show you the um, mock-up for it. This is a pattern that I've been like most of my patterns, they're like in some form of draft state for a year. And then suddenly I'll be inspired and I'll like finish it. And they'll often like, you know, change 90% of the design um, and then release it. So this was kind of similar. I had been like slowly, slowly tweaking, at, tweaking it and working on it. And then suddenly I was like, I got it. And it just happened and I picked the palette and everything, everything worked. Did I show, I know the pattern wasn't out when I showed this last, but I might've showed you the colors that I had picked. I think that was the case. Anyway, um, so this is ah, my newest release. This is Be Kind to Yourself and Others. It's a really simple um, two color design. Can you hear my neighbors? I closed the windows so they'd be quieter, but um, I'm super proud of it. I'm super proud of my mock-up as well, um, but I'm excited to replace it with a stitched piece in the very near future. Um, this phrase is one that I say to myself constantly. I got into the habit. There's this really beautiful poem that's, all about the moon and one of the lines is, is it's like different like you know um inspirational-ish stuff it, but one of the lines is be kind to yourself and others and so I've gotten into the habit of any time I see the moon I will repeat that phrase to myself because I'm like typically a pretty nice person I try to be kind to other people but and that's like that makes you feel good and like it's just it's just good to do and it it's it's not that hard to be kind to most people um and so like that's not necessarily a reminder that I need but the part that I do definitely need is to be kind to myself um because I can get so hard on myself especially like living alone and working from home during quarantine Oof, there is a lot of negative self-talk that goes on because I can have a day that's totally fine and I have a day where it's like it's hard to do anything and I'm like they're out there people are out there and they're doing so much better than me in quarantine and they're like writing the next great American novel and they're training for a marathon and they're learning a new language and blah 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 or like they've got five kids that they're taking care of while working from home or whatever. And so I get into this like really terrible narrative um, where I'm hard on myself where I'm like, why are you not doing better? And I'm like, no, 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 I'm doing amazing. Um, oh, he got so cute. Um, and like, yeah, other people have it harder, but some people have it easier. So let's, let's just all be kinder. Anyway, I'm super pleased with how this came out. It's a nice small finish, it should, fit in like a six inch hoop so it's not going to be a massive project um and this is where you guys can come in because i charted it because i loved the combination of i used of course gray um this is dmc one and three and i when i charted it i had picked out this um earthen picture this plus earthen linen which is a really nice neutral with like a pinkish hue to it um, in certain lights, it comes off more like of a tan, but like right now it's like kind of like a super light pink. Um, and so that's how I came up with the, the mock-up image for it. And then I was looking through my fabric for something else. And I realized that I have this, it's showing up really brown, but it's really more pink. Um, this is a Silk Weaver chocolate vanilla swirl that I got when I was at 
Needleworkers Delight um, last August for the Floss Tube New Jersey retreat. I don't know if we can make this do what we want, but it's like a really light brown with, it's very like pinkish, tonish, whatever. And I think that could look really good with this. I don't think it's giving you a good sampling, but it's like darker and more dramatic, but I think it could work. It would make it slightly bigger. We may just have to see, I don't know. Um, I also had someone um, who bought the pattern and she is brilliantly, she changed these colors to Glass Slipper, one of the new Gassed colors, and Moonlit Path, which is like, it's a super stunning combo. So I might be switching mine out for those as well because they look beautiful together. Um, so yeah, I don't know. What do we think? This one is 32 count. This is 36 count. I generally prefer 32 count. So that right there could make our decision easy. Hmm. I'm gonna have to sleep on it and look at it in like morning light and not this kind of dark, dark sunset. Oh, I do just love those colors though. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, so that pattern is available in my Etsy. No, I mean, it is available in my Etsy shop, but it's available on my website, topnutstitcher.com. Uh, to celebrate it, I also have a coupon code that is good for 15% off any purchase, not just the chart. And it's good through November 3rd. And the code is be kind. And there is a specific reason because that's election day in the US. So when I designed this, I wasn't exactly sure when I was gonna release it. And then I was like, no, I just wanna release it right now. But I had planned to do that. Um, discount code kind of like just because I don't know I don't know what I'm saying Jam do you know what I'm saying the point is the discount code has been up since this chart was released and it is still valid so if you need any stitchy things you know where to go and what to do um, that's good only on my website not in the Etsy shop um, and just, it's just my little reminder to you to be kind to yourself and to others, especially because we are all going to need all the kindness we can get in the next couple weeks, um, at least here in, in the U.S. So this is going to be the piece. I'm hoping that like, since I'm going to finish my Together Against Racism, this will be my next like soothing self-care stitch. And then maybe I'll also work on all those other Halloween pieces I showed last time that I haven't touched. <laughs> But maybe not. I don't know. Shall we talk about haul? Because I that's like basically all we have left practically. Um, I grabbed this this bag because while this is not new, I just ordered a new bag from Delicious Jen, Delicious Threads. Um, and so I was like, oh, I need to pull out one of my Delicious Threads bags. And this was the closest one, although I'm realizing now that my fox bag might be in here too. Uh, but she just put up a whole big batch of new project bags and they are almost all Halloween fabrics. I might be wrong. Maybe there's, maybe they're all Halloween there, but there might be, a, I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're gorgeous. Um, and I love her square bags like this. Um, they're super well made They're It's nice because it, it holds your eight by eight Q-snap, which I'm into. This one doesn't have a Q-snap in it, but it's like roomy and easy enough to get to everything that you need. Um, and I just super, super love them. So highly recommend that you go check her out. I think she has a coupon code. You should go sign up for her newsletter. You get coupon codes and you get to know exactly when she posts really cool bags. She doesn't have any Harry Potter ones that are up right now, I don't think but she does have a lot of really cool stuff. Um, I got one that has cute little pumpkins and cats and I can't wait, it's gonna be so cute. It is a dark bag and has black like this, so it is gonna also just be covered in jam fur immediately. I just have an aesthetic and I don't, I can't, it's just, it's just the way it is. Um, so anyway, next time we film, I'll be able to share that. She also has some new needle minders, including one that says zero amucks given. And I just cannot, cannot. I restrained myself from buying it because 
I have too many needle binders and I don't know. I, it was like one of the rare moments I had self-control and I regret everything, but go check her out. Deliciousthreads.com, Delicious Threads on Instagram. I love her. I love her bags. I also love Cassie's bags. There is like, there are so many talented people. There are so many talented people. Um, when I filmed last, I think I may have mentioned, um, I put up a batch of project bags that I did not make, but that uh, the very skilled Deb made. And they're already sold out on my site, but I'll put her Etsy shop below. She sells them over there. Um, and they're like the super cute quilted bags and they are just perfection. So if you missed out, don't be too sad because you can still get some from her. Um, and I hope to put up batches periodically because it's fun. Um, so let's let's do some other, let's just, just real quick, a few things. Um, I got a couple things on Stash Unload or Stash Unloading, I always forget. Hold on, I'm gonna try to de-crinkle things. Arr. That's not really working, is it? <laughs> um, so I like to troll stash and load for fabrics because um, hand dyed fabrics, it's harder for me to stock it. And that's good because then I would have like just zero self control. But like there's so many variables with different dyers and the different counts and different fabrics and it's just hard to tell like what, what the people are gonna need and I only have so much space. All of that to say, I like to just keep tabs on stash and load. So I got myself a nice little cut of Ancient by Picture This Plus, 32 count, delightful. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. It doesn't matter, but it's gonna it's gonna be something great. I'm also realizing this tag says that it's 18 by 27, and it is not. It is half of that. But that's fine. Um, I didn't pay for a back order. I just need to make sure that I don't think this is more than it is when I go to kit it up. The label fell off, so it's fine. <clears throat> um, and then this is... <sighs> that is showing up so nicely. This is a Fiberlicious. Check this. Where shadow used to fall. Ooh, like how great is that? Oh, I'm also remembering I was gonna grab a book of spooky poems and read you a poem. I might do that, I might not, we'll see. Um, but like, yes, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, but I just wanted it. I don't know, I have, a, oh, it's just so good, it's the perfect, like grayish purplish and I do really love the purple fabrics into it okay I also got this little la di da Merry Christmas look at him I love green coated Santas and he's like dragging his tree he must be tired and he's got his little bag of gifts and he's got his little candle and he's just the cutest thing I love la di da this is an older design. I haven't really seen it around. I don't know if that means it's out of print or like out of print forever or just like, you know, 2006. So it's been a while, but I love it. And then finally I was like, you know what? I use the same grime guard for everything. Where did all my grime guards go? And I have a couple that I know are floating around somewhere, but I was like, Psh. I need some new ones. So I went to my favorite Grime Guard creator over on Etsy, DLK's Crafts. I have um, showed off a Grime Guard or two before. Um, go check her out, she's amazing. I saw when I bought these, after I bought these, I think I was going back to check on like the tracking to see when, if it had been delivered or something. Um, I went back to her shop and she had something about uh, a do like she's doing some sort of donation in the month of October. So if you make a purchase, you'll be doing some good. I don't remember what it is. I am not a great uh, rep for things, <laughs> but I do love her grime guards a lot. They're super well made and super well priced. And she ships from Canada. Um, and this came to me 
in like, I don't know, less than two weeks, week, week, a week. I didn't really keep track, but it came faster than I thought it would. Um, and they're super well made. And so I decided because Christmas is coming up, I got myself some Christmas ones. I also like this one because it's green, which is Slytherin. And I'm Slytherin, if you didn't know. Um, but they're also Christmas and that's fun. And they're just like cute little speckly, sparkly delightfulness. Um, so go check her out if you are in need of some grime guards because they're beautiful. And I think that is it for stash unload. I was afraid that might happen. That's a semi, mm, it's not really a secret, but that's a thing that we'll talk about next time. Okay. Oh, this was the other thing that I have. This is super crinkly too, just to prepare you. Let's try to decrinkle it. Um, so I get a quarterly box from Sassy Jack Stitchery in North Carolina, um, and it, which I found out about when I was there at this time last year for the Primitive Hair Halloween Retreat. And so there's, um, it's called Jack Stash, which is just you because that's their little like shop mascot. He's a little squirrel, Jack. Uh, sassy jacks get it get it um and so it's a little quarterly box of doodads and charts and goodies and i love it because it's such a good mix of different types of things and i'll show i think i've shown some of the things before but i really love it because like you know charts not that exciting to me because like i got charts up the wazoo threads sometimes exciting to me little finishy things and cute little tools and fun little fun things like that those i'm into because uh it's like you just get a, you just get a little present there's stuff in here that i never would have known existed if not for kim at sassy jacks so let me show you what i got first of all jack always throws in like a chart from his stash and i got um a you know tiny modernist love it always cute, always good. Um, and then a newer chart that is from their, can you hear my neighbors? They're so loud. Um, it's from their like sampler line, uh, Sassafras samplers. Um, and they, they do a lot of reproductions, but they also have some original ones. And this is a Scottish sampler um, that it's like, oh, let me just read about it. My goodness. In honor of Macbeth. Okay. Also known as the Scottish play. Um, the borders for this piece, as well as the rest of this spooky Shakespeare series, comes from Scottish samplers that they have in their collection. That's what it is. So it's Shakespeare, Scottish, combined. Um, da, 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 da. Anyway, let me just show you the chart. It's called Adder's Fork. Ooh. Look at that owl! I might just stitch the owl because I don't care about Shakespeare terribly much. But I like that there's a moon and I love that little owl. Um, the text says, Adder's fork and blind, blind worm's sting, lizard's leg and howlet's wing. Ooh, so Macbethian. Um, and then there's a little, let's see. Yes. There, there are four different clues to make a little bonus chart, a bonus mystery sampler. So there's a part of that is in here. Um, that will be air the set of sun where the place. I don't know, but that's fine. Um, I, we got some banding, which I know that Sassy Jacks is one of the few shops that like banding is their jam they have like a whole shelf that's just like banding 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 and it's super cool and fun and I'm excited to have a few pieces to play with um including this one which is like satin stitched do I also stitch on this I don't know there's a little letter that taught me some things um and she included a chart uh that has a few little Halloween autumn motifs that could be stitched around it and then you can put that around like an ort jar or what have you but how fun um she also included some sparkly 
uh, autumnal colors. So we have, um, yeah, we'll just treasure braid. I don't know. Um, and then Trinway silks, which I've heard of, heard about. I think Bendy has talked about some of them, but look at this harmony color. Can you even? I need a leaf pattern immediately or a pumpkin or something. That's gorgeous. Um, and then it, she also included some silk ribbon, which I know that like ribbon embroidery was a thing at some point. Um, I don't know that I want to do ribbon embroidery, but I will do something with an orange ribbon. Are you kidding? Orange is my jam. We also got some finishing velveteen. I am sure that she told us who this was by. James of the Needle, maybe, but maybe not. But I definitely lost the, the letter that came with this. Um, so that's fun. I, I've never finished anything with Velveteen, but I have a couple pieces in my stash, so I could if I get my act together. Um, and then I feel like I maybe dropped something at some point, or I already took it out and used it. But you get the gist. It's a super fun box. Um, she does a monthly one too, but I do it quarterly because um, I can't handle that much excitement. However, I have just purchased my first ever stitchy box um, because I was talking with a friend and she was like, yeah, I got a few of them as gifts for myself coming up. And I was like, I want them too. <laughs> I need to do what you do. And so I may have snagged one of the Christmas boxes. Um, they announced they had a few extras that they were listing and I set an alarm. I was ready. I got in. I got my box. I cannot wait. It's, got, it's about to be real Christmassy. Okay, real quick, let's just, I just want to share a few of my current favorite things from the Top Knot shop. So if you're like tired of seeing haul, Peace out, Cub Scout, but like also you have a coupon code. You yourself could get these things at a discount. What? Um, so most of these are pretty new releases. Also kind of not. <laughs> we'll just go through and see. Um, the first one is a Prairie Schooler. This isn't new, but they've been re-releasing. And this one I've always kind of had my eye on. It's the Cats, Bats, and Witches. Um, and I just... <laughs> I love this, the main piece. Um, there's a main piece and then there's like a medium piece that it has four little tiles so you could do them individually as little like ornamenty doodads or like a little spooky card. Ooh. Um, but the main sampler piece says, hey ho, which just, I just love that. Hey ho for Halloween, pumpkins everywhere, cats and bats and witches are flying through the air. And they're just, they're, they're everywhere and I just love it. Um, I like that there are, there's a cat just like hanging out with a pumpkin. He's just like, hey ho. And then there's a cat on the broom with one of the witches. And I just, I think it's super fun. I think it'd be, oh, that could be really fun to use that variegated trainway silk. It might be a little too light, but that could be cool. We're going to think about that. Um, this is also not a new design but it's like not as well known I feel it this is it's from 2015 but it's a collaboration between ink circles and hands-on design and it's called second spring and the pattern is this sampler and then six different biscornu patterns and I was like I have stitched one biscornu but I did not ffo it myself I model stitched it and I was like, I really don't want to screw up your model. So no, thank you. I will not finish it. But I feel like I can, if I wanted to, I could finish a Biscornu. It's not that hard, right? Um, so this has six different Biscornu patterns that are all like beautiful leafies. This is what I should use that silk on. We'll see. But I feel like I could definitely make a beautiful Biscornu with that thread. Um, and then the sampler says, autumn is a second spring where every leaf is a flower. When every leaf is a flower. But I just, oof, I just love it. Um, so yeah, I was like, I definitely need that in the shop because I want it in my life. 
Okay, now to some newer stuff. Just a few things. This one, actually, I lied. This is also an older tarp, but I just got it in. Um, I showed a few videos back, Santa at the beach, and there's a companion that goes with that of Santa in the country. And not to be left out, this is Santa at the lake. <laughs> and he's just riding a giant trout. I don't know what that is, but it just cracks me up. It just cracks me up. So this is a pretty old design as well. It's from 2005. Um, but it just makes me super happy and I love the Santa at the beach even though like this isn't really my aesthetic it doesn't matter it makes me laugh um, I don't know if there are any more Santa patterns like this but if there are I will find them and I will stock them jam he's gonna want to knock that off and play with the leaves hello you wanna come here okay we'll see what, what he does okay um, let me confirm if this is a new chart or not. It doesn't say, but it's new to me and that's all that matters. This is a praiseworthy stitches, a simple gifts Halloween chart. I love it. I've never stitched one of these giant Quakery samplers, but I love them. And <clears throat> excuse me, I really like this one. You've got cats throughout it. You've got some ravens, some acorns. Uh, I don't think there's, okay, there's some bats, some little hats, some little squirrels, a moon, a bunch of leaves, some spooky words like eek, and pumpkin and ghosts and Halloween. And there's, oh, it's just fun. So yes, obviously. Um, this is also, I'm a little late to the party, but this was a new Mirabilia release this year that I ordered and then uh, forgot to list forever. So I need to list it. I still haven't listed it as of filming this, but this is Queen Bee or the Queen Bee. And I just dig her dress. If I were to stitch her, I would, oh, she looks so mean. Um, but I would stitch her on like bee fabric. I may or may not stitch her archway, her pergola, or whatever that is. I have no idea. I don't but it's it's beautiful. She's beautiful, but like, oh, she would be so cool on that primitive hair bee linen. I don't know if that piece is big enough for her, but she's got a serious crown. She's got a serious dress. And I like that she's not too full of bees because I don't really like bees. Anyway, um, she came out like a few months ago. I'm late to the party. Okay, this one is a little bit of Christmas and a little bit of Halloween, but it's a new Lila Studios release. This is Season's Blessing. And so there's winter blessings and fall blessings. And I just think they're the sweetest things ever. I'm assuming that she will release soon a spring and summer blessing. So maybe they already exist and I missed it. That would be upsetting, but I'll find them because they're just the sweetest little birds and that white pumpkin, oof, and the cardinal, oof. I love them. I need them. Um, <laughs> this is the last chart I'm gonna share, but this is a new one from Lou Who Stitches and it's ghosty goodies. And just a little trick-or-treating ghost. <laughs> and I have so much orange fabric that he would look so good on. That might be happening soon because I could get to where I was just filling in a ghost for a while. That would be a great Zoom Zoom project. Okay, and one final thing, and then we're gonna go and we're clocking in at a nice tight 40 minutes, almost, if we can talk fast. Um, but this is one of the new Primitive Hair Linens. I just got my order. Uh, she put out some recent uh, Halloween and Christmas designs and a couple new fabrics. I'm already sold out of one of them, the dark spell linen that's like all of the branches and everything. I have it in the small size, but she recently came out with a bigger size of it. And I don't have that one anymore, but I have the little ones. But this is my favorite. Um, let me move the string for you. I don't want to mess up your fabric. This is Fancy Skulls. Bam! Isn't that cool? So this is printed, It's it might be a border, it might just be the skulls are on both sides. 
I can't remember anymore, but it's gorgeous and spooky. And she hasn't released a pattern on it yet, but I am sure one will be coming. Um, usually when she has like a specialty printed fabric, there's like something special that goes with it. When it has like the border and stuff, like, like so many of her designs are stitched on that dark spell linen and it looks so cool. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see what, what comes of this fancy skulls. I also like that they're fancy. You gotta be fancy. That's it for the new, my current favorites in the shop. Um, and that's it for my stitching. I do have a super exciting announcement, um, which is that my first ever magazine piece is coming out next month in Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher. What? So that piece that clattered to the, to the ground, that was your preview. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave it there. Um, you can rewind and get, catch a little glimpse of it. There's a preview slideshow if you go to the primitive, no, not primitive, punch needle and primitive stitch, stitcher, stitching mm, magazine. Um, but the winter mega issue is coming out next week, beginning of November, a little unclear. Uh, and your girl's in it. So I'm going to upload another video soon telling you a little bit more about the design and I'm super excited. So if you're not a subscriber, I recommend you go get yourself a subscription. I am not planning to carry the magazines in the shop because um, I magazines are heavy to ship and they take up a lot of space. And so because personally I use the digital subscription and I know that many other people do as well. Um, and there are other shops that carry the magazine. So I've just, even though I'm in it now, I've opted not to carry it for the time being. So um, you won't be able to get the chart via the magazine from me, but get yourself a copy of the winter issue because you can stitch my pattern. Also, there's a super cute pattern from my evil twin, Ryan Wild Violet. And also I'm sure lots of other, there are lots of other great patterns in there. Um, I... I'll talk more about it when I upload my next video, but I'm super, super stoked. Um, Top Hat Stitcher Shop is going pro. I don't know. Um, Jam and I have had a lovely time hanging out with you. Thanks for chatting with me. Let me know what is one of your favorite Halloween recent releases from the cross stitch creators of our world. Uh, do you have a favorite uh, maker of things such as project bags and grime guards? Because I do, I will link them all below, but also I kind of always need more because I can't sew. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Quick shout outs, shall we? Yes. Um, okay, um, quick shout outs before we go. We got interrupted there, we're back. Jam is being so cute. So cute. Um, quick shout outs, Andrea. Andrea Hart's Needle Art made her first floss tube video and it was awesome. So I will link her below, go check her out. Um, I haven't been watching a ton of other people recently, but I did want to tell you about... Sorry, it's noisy. Nope, I lost it. Let's do a quick book chat because I recently finished Practical Magic and Rules of Magic, The Rules of Magic. Last year I watched the movie Practical Magic for the first time and it was great. And my friend Ryan, who I watched the movie with, was like, yeah, we should read the books. And I was like, okay. And so I started Practical Magic and I was like, what? And then I started The Rules of Magic and I was like, ooh, but I didn't finish it. Um, if you're not familiar, it's the story of the Owens women who are witches. Excuse me. Um, Practical Magic is the one that more people are familiar with. General consensus is that the movie's better than the book, and I do think I would agree with that. However, I only saw the movie once, and it was a year ago, so I am going to watch it again to confirm. But then there's a prequel called The Rules of Magic, which takes place like 60 years before the other one, maybe more, I don't know. Did I definitely lose track of all timing through both books? Yes, but it was great. It was so good and it sets 
a much better groundwork. It's a good prequel <laughs> um, for Practical Magic. This month, you also have the History of Magic. No, that's Harry Potter. But is it? I don't know. There's another prequel, like a prequel to the prequel, um, that takes you back to the original Owens woman, Maria, perhaps, like back in Salem in the 1600s and tells you like her origin story of this whole lineage of women. So I am on the waiting list at the library. I should be getting my audiobook this week, hopefully. Um, it's been a really lovely re-entry to audiobooks. I've not had a lot of success with them for a while, um, mostly because I would listen while I was commuting and often I just preferred podcasts because they fit better within, I had like a 45 minute-ish commute. And so just fitting in a podcast just worked better for my brain capacity. Um, so I got kind of out of the habit of audiobooks and I got kind of out of the habit of reading and my brain is just tired because this year is hard. So it was a really lovely re-entry to audiobooks and I'm excited to keep that up. So if you have any favorite audiobooks, let me know down below. We are now clocking in at almost 50 minutes, so we're going to say goodbye. Don't forget to be kind. Use the code at my shop if you need some stitching stuff through November 3rd. Don't forget to vote. Please go vote. Please go vote. Um, if you need resources to figure out all the like local and little elections and things um they're out there and you can get nice neutral stuff to find out like what does this even mean like in california we have all these state propositions and i'm like i don't even know what this is and everything's like a triple negative and it's super hard to be like am i opposed to this i don't know um so happy to point you in some helpful directions if you need it. And with that, I'm going to go eat myself some dinner and finish my Together Against Racism stitch. And the, we are losing the light right on time. So goodbye, friends. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll be back in like a week to show you my pattern. Goodbye. Okay,